Soccer fans, we are just about underway, just about to begin the women's soccer season at NC State. I'm joined by head coach Tim Santoro. Coach, before we start talking about something in, that's right in front of us, the season, let's go all the way back to the fall when you guys did not compete as a team in ACC play. But you did get a lot of time to work and train with the girls and develop them. What did you accomplish last fall? It was incredible um, to have – um, the time to really focus on individual development. It's usually what we do in the spring. Uh, we only got about four weeks of that last spring. Um, then we were apart for five months. So we, we got to really focus on uh, the individual development, which you don't get to do as much in a season. You're getting ready for next opponent, next opponent, and it's game driven, and this is player driven. So for us, it was disappointing not to play, um, but it was probably a more logical progression and uh, with so many young players we took a big step um, with some of the kids which we're seeing now and hoping we'll see you know as we start playing some games this spring. So how have things been a little differently training now that you have games ahead of you? Yeah I mean we kind of just took the last spring and did it in the fall in the fall we're just kind of more game related stuff getting the, trying to get a lineup together I mean we have we had graduated a big class the last time we played the season in 2001 was at 19. Um, so now we're just putting together a lot of young kids into into a lineup and, and seeing where we'll be when we start playing. So it's kind of uh, a lot of new faces and a lot of uh, trial and error right now. What have you seen from a from a team standpoint that kind of gives you some hope and excitement about the upcoming limited season? And we have talent. We knew we recruited talent. We, we lost a couple of really good classes in 18 and 19. So we knew we had good kids coming in. It's just they don't have the experience. It's going to be the, the positives of, ha of having talent and the negatives is going to be they're going to be learning on the fly too um, in these first few games. So, uh, But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We just need to get back on the field and uh, play these games in the spring and really prep for the fall. It's a nine-game schedule. You have some ACC opponents on there, four of them, but this is not an ACC season. How will you approach this nine-game season that will start here on February 7th? You know, I mean, it's, you want to win every time you step on the field, whether it counts, doesn't count, you know, conference, non-conference. The players are driven to win. It's just, it's just how they're built. Um, so we're going to try to win. You know, but for me as a coach, you know, I'm, we, haven't been, we haven't played a game since last February. Um, so it's been a while, uh, and, and my focus is how prepared can we get this spring with some of the young kids to be ready when the real season comes back in the fall, because um, there's still a lot of unknowns in the spring. We don't know how long we're going to be playing week to week, if you're going to play games, and is there going to really be an NCAA postseason in, 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 in April and May? We don't know, so for us, it's just a day-by-day -day thing, and um, just try to be ready for these games. The big picture for me is how, how do we get these kids ready so when we add our, more of our recruits in August that we're really firing next fall because I believe we're going to be as good as we've been um, by next fall. You talk about a recruiting class. Now, we can't specifically name uh, some of the recruits, but I look at the number 12. You have signed 12 for the class of 2021. That's a pretty large class, I would think. It's big. It's big for soccer. Um, we had graduated seven in 2019. And then last summer, because of the pandemic, we had lost some of the um, kids we had coming in. Some of the internationals opted to go pro instead of um, come here because of the uncertainty. Um, so between those two factors, we needed, a, we needed to replace those ones we lost. We already had some recruits in the bank. So it just kept adding up and uh, we do have 12. Three of them are here now. Um, they'll, they'll train with us all spring, can't play in the games, but um, then we'll add nine more in August. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll be a big roster. It'll be a young roster, but um, extremely talented. I've talked to all the coaches on campus or most of them about their challenges of current recruiting because of COVID. No in-person evaluations, no in-person visits. How have you been able to handle that? And what's been your strategy? It's hard. Um, a lot of video, um, been a, you know, the, the kids and the events that these kids play in these, you know, these youth systems, you know, they've adapted with the pandemic too. And you have companies that are filming games. And so kids have access to video now. So you're watching a lot of video of games, but it, it's different. You don't have the, as much of the interpersonal connection, like you and I are sitting here talking on zoom right now. And we do that with recruits, but that's not the same 
when you have a family and a kid sitting in your office or walking around campus. So um, you just have to adapt and, and, and make the best and do everything that's within the limits from the NCAA. And, um, you know, we signed of the 12, we signed seven of them or we got seven commitments because of Zoom and video. So I don't know. Uh, um, maybe that says something about my recruiting, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it's gone well and we'll keep doing it. And April 15th is the day that right now is set. Potentially some recruiting uh, restrictions could be lifted. Will it happen? We don't know. Well, I know one thing that can happen, and that's a game. It's been a long time since you guys have played. Look forward to watching you this season. Coach Tim Santoro, thanks for your time. Thanks, Jeff.